Hello and welcome to the That's Life Formula One Canada 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 <laughs> Canada Grand, Grand Prix. Uh, close, close enough, shall, Dave. Shall I, is that close, or should I try it again? You should probably, probably try it again, but try it again. you you could have that as an as an outtake. An outtake in the. Or you could leave leave it in for for the for the viewer for the laughs for the for the lols. Leave it in for the. No, oh, it's uh, I don't. Uh, that that's my fault because I I set you up for that. I was trying desperately not not to say lols, and then I ended up just setting you up for it. He, he did, and I knocked, I knocked it out. The part, the part, yeah. it's gone. It's absolutely gone. Okay, this is a bit, bit rusty. Never rusty. coming back. We'll, we'll try. I'll have another go because I'm quite enjoying this. <clears throat> okay. Hello and welcome to the Dats Life Formula One Canadia. Canadian? I said it again. I said it again. Canada. What is it? Oh, Canada. excellent. Canadian, Canada. Canada Grand <laughs> Review. Oh, man. That's, um, who says Canadian? You, you you've got to keep it in now. You've who got says, to keep these in now. Who says Canadian? Canadian? That, no that guy, Dave from That's Life. He no one says, says Canadian. Can that's a new thing, mate. Is it? Right. It's brand, you, you've brand got new. to nail it now. You can't, can't do it three times. <laughs> That's like that's like you've uh, got a, a mental problem. If you do it again, got a mental block. Because <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, okay, fine. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> you can say Canadian or Canada, Canadi- but not Canadian. Oh, Canadian. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, Dave. We can do this. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> this is really bad. Focus. Oh, you can dear. do it. Can I do? It? I can just do it in little bits. Just. <laughs> Just... <laughs> you can do it. Oh, Focus, dear. come on. Come on, be be more professional. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the That's Life Formula One Canadia Grand Prix <laughs> review. You actually said it again. Did I? You said it again. <laughs> Canadia. <laughs> Canadia. You said it again. <laughs> Canadian. Oh, God. This is the Formula One Canadian oh. Grand Prix. That's life review. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's just, I'm, uh, I don't know. Just it's looking, unbelievable now. I'm a bit just you know a bit tired. <laughs> you know, it's been a long day. It's just Can, Canadian. 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 You, is it because you're saying it with a silent n? Perhaps. Can you know the Canadian? Canadia. Canadian. 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 It, the word has just gone wrong now. I can't say. Okay, it. I think the, <laughs> the the fan gets the gist. We're here to talk about the Canadian Grand Prix 2019. <laughs> what did I say? Can I, I can't even remember what I said. <laughs> you Can don't I, even know what you said. Canadian. Th- three times. Whew. Canadian Grand Prix. That's life review. Welcome. Uh, it's been a couple of uh, months since we did. You know, we're a third of the way through the season already. Oh we? Yeah. It's crazy when you think about it. It's so fast, we, isn't it? it? It does seem to go just like Formula One. Oh, great. Boomtish. <laughs> uh, so it's a bit of a while since we've done one, uh, mainly because uh, the season has been a bit of a uh, Mercedes-dominated um, German fest so far. Which has been slightly disappointing, so we've not really uh, felt the need to make any comments. However, the <coughs> Canadian Grand Prix has just happened. Oh, you said it right. That, that time. I did. I did well say done. it. Right. It's because I'm in flow, and yeah. we felt it, the need to uh, have a discussion, have the discussion amongst ourselves, what our thoughts were on this race, and what it means for the future uh, going forward as well. We did a China review last. That was race three. Between then and now, not much really happened in the races between. They weren't that like eventful. Um, oh, but, but the there Mercs won all. Oh, there was some. But, yeah, um, no, you're, sorry, you're right. We have to. We have just to a, well, touch. well, ju- no, just like I don't know if we need to really recap them, but but th- there is one big um, event that we should probably address, and that's the uh, the death of Nicky Lauda. Uh, who passed away a couple of couple, well about a month ago now, isn't it? So yeah, his presence is surely going to be missed in in the F1 paddock, and, and yeah, obviously both of us never met met the guy, but it just it just shows how his the person he was transcended normal life. The fact that 
even with that even we're talking about him and mentioning him. So you know, as we say, it's uh, a big loss. Yeah, I mean, he was one of the the greats. Um, not Living just the, not just the yeah, not just the fact that he won three world titles, wasn't it? Yeah, three, three titles. Yeah, yeah. So the man, like he was the manner, so much more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, he like obviously like. For those who have seen Rush, in 1976, he had that massive crash. And then it says a lot about him that, was it 40-something days after, after like, having, the accident. you know, huge mm. amount, amount of burns and all that sort of yeah. stuff, he came came back and raced. And, I mean, it just takes incredible. I mean, like, I mean really. if that was me, I'm sure I, I probably would have quit. <laughs> well, yeah, I think I would, a lot, a lot of drivers would have. Yeah, I wouldn't be. Well, obviously, I wouldn't be in Formula One. But that, it, that, that takes just an amazing amount of courage. And yeah. it, well, there's a fine line. They say there's a fine line between courage and stupidity. But uh, in, well, in, in that instance, I think we know what what side he aired on. Yeah, and I mean, he came back and he he won the following year, didn't he? he won the title. 77 it is so just yeah uh, amazing to think you can come 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 back from pretty much the brink brink of death or the brink of never being able to race again to then come back and to be the best in in your sport yeah. again incredible yeah. really yeah exactly so this is a this is our um un, uh, overdue Little, a few words about uh, yeah. about the great Nicky Lauda, um, yeah. And I'm sure, um, yeah, his fear, presence, like I say, his presence was felt. His loss was felt in Monaco and 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 uh, going forward. Yeah, and I mean, it won't be the same not seeing him alongside to- Toto Wolff because we're so used to seeing him, you know, in in like in the pit garage and uh, being involved with with the Mercedes team and. Um, yeah, it's going to be strange without yeah without him. But I guess in some ways he lived thirty something years more than yeah. yes he yes. was meant to have lived. So I guess in that sense it was yeah yeah. Oh, he, and um, yeah. another thing I thought of uh, like I had a nice thought that um, like the day he died I kind of was like um, he's having a good old chat with James Hunt now yeah. where they've had a catch up together they're ever, they're somewhere ever, exactly and, and all yeah, the, and all the other, chat yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're up in the great uh, the great circuit in the sky uh, for, yes to, yeah. to, to do what they did best yeah yeah so so should we talk about uh, was, there, was there another aspect you wanted to touch upon no, no, just so, just to kind of bridge that gap between race three and race seven, which we've just had. Just, yeah, just so, just to continue, continue the F1 pod, podcast that we've been doing, you know, just to continue it on. Yeah. You know, just to bridge, bridge that gap. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, uh, the, was, it, was it Azerbaijan the following race? Um, after, after Canada? Is that right? After Canada. So China. Because of his China, seat. Because of his Azerbaijan. <laughs> so so since we've done the last review, uh, there has been uh, Azerbaijan, Spain, uh, Monaco. Monaco. It? And was that? Yeah. That's a free race. That was four, five, and six. Yeah. So that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, Bottas won Azerbaijan, and Hamilton won in Spain and Monaco, uh, but all of which weren't particularly interesting. Uh, so no. and, and hence why there was no need to to have a little we thought we felt there was no need to do a review of them but we're back we're back we're back now and and, and quick rev- quick review of those races was dull dull and not so dull maybe yeah um yeah they weren't races to look back on in years to come i don't think <laughs> that's so. a, that's the ace yes to, to say the least um Whereas last night's race Ooh. is one we will the, talk about for years yeah, to come, the, the, I believe. Uh, I I agree. I think it's going to well, gonna, one incident in particular. It's going to go down in uh, Formula One history, I think, this race, but for all the wrong reasons, which uh, yeah, we will we will get in into. Um, so it was a 
it was a fascinating race weekend actually because Mercedes and the Ferrari were kind of jostling for position all, all weekend. Um, well, between Hamilton and the two Ferraris, Bottas just didn't seem to be on it this weekend for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah. Uh, didn't seem didn't seem to be on it. So um, qualifying, uh, Vettel put the car on pole, his car on pole position uh, for the first time this year, and indeed for the first time in seventeen races, if you can believe. Yeah, um, incredible, isn't it? it? That's crazy to think about that stat. Uh, when that when I, I looked up there, I was, I was for wow, that, that was his first pole for Vettel. Yeah. That just shows what sort of a lump, a, a bit of real lull he's been in. Yeah, um, it's an entire season's worth. Uh, of course, much, of yeah. course, Leclerc got his maiden pole position in Bahrain earlier this year. Uh, so not Ferrari's first pole, but Vettel's first pole. Uh, Hamilton was second on the grid, alongside him with Leclerc in third. Uh, and also, an honourable has to be said, an honourable mention to Jan, uh, Danny, Daniel Ricciardo, who managed to put his Renault up in fourth place. Yeah, uh, which is Brilliant. a stunning performance, beating uh, one of the Mercedes on Mary. Obviously, Verstappen uh, didn't make it into Q3. Primarily no. because a certain Kane Magnussen binned it, or, yeah. or, did, or did he have a suspension failure going into the corner? Uh, there was some talk, maybe there was a problem. Yeah, with the car. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, they can say that he had such a whack that they can yeah. say what, what exactly. they want, and who, who, you're not going to be able to prove them differently, really. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. But obviously, it, let, it caused a red flag at the end of Q2. And a lot of drivers were unable to prove their times, with Max Verstappen being the uh, big casualty. Uh, but nevertheless, yeah. uh, Ricardo up in fourth position in the Renault is well. It, it was Renault's best qualifying performance since 2010, I think it was, with with uh, Robert Kubica. So yeah, fantastic, uh, fantastic performance from and showing the trajectory that Renault is on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first race really that they've shown what they're really made of. I think. And what we can expect to see from them uh, for the rest of the year. At least that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, no, same. I, um, I, I want to see Renault start missing in and clear, it, clear, yeah. the, clear the midfield, establish themselves as midfield runners and maybe challenging the, the, the top three teams towards the end of the year and go, going into next year. But let's yeah. see what happens. So uh, getting into the race itself... Um, it was it, it was a very tense race, wasn't it? Yeah. For, for a lot of it, it the, there wasn't much major action. I think the DRS didn't really work very very well in this race. Um, yeah, I mean the back I, the back straight is very long. Yeah, there yeah. was a few cars that passed before they'd even reached like halfway down the straight. Yeah, they seem to fly past, so it kind of takes the edge off the move a bit. Yeah, um, a, f- a few drivers managed a, a good overtake in turn one. I think Kvyat overtook someone into turn one, uh, which was which was quite good. I, oh, I appreciate on, that one. Was that on the last lap or last? Oh, that was on on so he overtook Sainz uh, going into yeah. the first corner. He proper dived down the inside. And got, yeah, that was a oh, good, that was a great move. Perez did a similar move as well, which was. Uh, Appreciate that. Yeah. It was good. It was good. Act, good action. But between yeah. the top teams, it was it was quite quite close. Um, so there was a lot of talk about the, the soft tire um, not being able to go in rain laps, which was rubbish because it was fine. Um, yeah. Well, Hulk Hulk managed to take it like fifteen laps or something. Yeah. Yeah. And people were saying it would fall off after four or five laps, but well, yeah, there tra- was a few that did pit fairly. Few yeah. bit on like lap eight or something. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah, quite soon. But um, but obviously Hulk showed us that it could have gone. It could go longer. F- Fifteen, yeah. Yeah. So was, um, so I think I think a couple of teams were playing it a bit safe. Uh, yeah. But that that that's that was yeah it, it, that was what it was. Um, but for the t- so the big big event up front was Vettel and Hamilton, which was great. You know, it's it's been a long time since we've seen a Vettel Hamilton fight. Um, yeah, which was yeah, like I said before, it was edge of your seat stuff because Hamilton would close up and he'd be <coughs> like, he'd, he'd just be inside the RS, and you, you're thinking, yeah. oh, he's really push, really pressuring here, really pressuring, and then he yeah. then he'd drop back a bit, a couple of seconds uh, to try to save his tires, I guess, save a bit of fuel. Then he then he'd edge back up again, and it was very um, cat and mouse like that for oh, a good half of the race, wasn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. And I mean, he kept, he seemed to lock up into the hairpin. Yes, yeah. Quite a lot of times, just the exact same thing. Yeah. So I'm not sure if, I don't know why he kept it doing that. He's he... pushing, he's pushing hard because he yeah. obviously knew that that back straight was his best chance to really get close to Vettel because of the DRS. Yeah. So he's probably. But then he'd go wide into that corner, so then and his it would exit wouldn't be as good. So yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. think he would have learned. I, I don't know if perhaps he. He's pushing. Couldn't slow the car down as well, maybe, and had to really. I don't know. Yeah, so he was definitely pushing. Yeah, oh, for sure, yeah, yeah. We, 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 which was great. It, it was great to see. Which makes a. Yeah, it makes. Um, yeah, it, 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 it go, and it also shows um, good hope for the rest of the season that if Ferrari can f- take the fights in Mercedes regularly, um, yeah. we'll get to see more of this. We, yeah, we, well, it's a bit so, maybe it's a bit late in the season for Ferrari to seriously mount a challenge, uh, which is crazy yeah. to say that you know it's it's a, we're, we're in June, third of the season through, but I, I already see I can't see how Hamilton could not win the title this year. No, yeah, he's won five <laughs> of seven. It's crazy. And was was it second and third in the other two or something? Uh, probably second, isn't he? He's yeah, yeah, he's finished second and he's finished second oh, yeah, or second, higher. Yeah. At every race, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, and then the team as well have had one twos. The first five were all one one twos, and then obviously now was it one three, and then what the bot one four? Yeah, one, five, so whatever, so let but... let's touch on Bottas here. He finished in uh, fourth place, but so far down, I don't understand. Yeah. I, I I couldn't fathom. So. It was, it was almost like he wasn't there. You know, so you're watching the front, and I was thinking, I was like, oh, how much did you bring really well? Then I look at the timing streams, I think, where, where's Bottas? It's like, he's, yeah, half, he's, he half, he's half a minute back. I, yeah. I, I just, hold, hold, hold that thought for a minute. I just want to check. Yeah, so Bottas finished <coughs> the, the race 51 seconds behind Hamilton. Wow. I mean, that says, yeah. it, that says a lot. Um, that's quite close to a lap down. Yeah, really. a, la- a lap down. It's not far off. So Hamilton and Vettel were really obviously their, their pace was hot. You know, they're, they're really they're really pushing, yeah. but Leclerc managed to keep with them. Yeah, for the most part. But Bottas really not on it this weekend. And ne- ne- never mind Bottas two point This was like Bottas zero point five. <laughs> you know. And, yeah, and yeah. This was yeah. That Bottas on his day, we've seen it. Before, we talked about this before. On his day, Bottas could beat anyone, but then he has days like this when you think, "Yeah, how is he so far back? What's what's the problem?" Yeah, it's just so, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Perhaps he doesn't <laughs> like the track. Maybe, maybe it's yeah. He just didn't. Yeah, just had, didn't turn had up. A not a great few few days, really. Yeah, just no. didn't just didn't turn up. But, but Bottas two point did not turn up for this this, this Grand Prix. That, that's no. that that much is obvious. So shall we talk about the Event, yes. Let's let let's. So this this uh, this is a con- the controversial point. So if perhaps you... if so, yeah, maybe if you explain what yeah. happened. So if you're listening to this, you're probably <coughs> you're probably an F1 fan anyway. You've seen the incident. You've already yeah. made that. You've already made up your mind about about it. But for the hell of it, we're going to give you our. We're going to talk through the incident and give our own little verdict on, on it. So if you're interested, keep listening. So is that forty eight? Hamilton is right. He's, he's probably as close as he's, he's been to Vettel. Is, yeah. that, is that fair to say? Well, uh, yeah, w- yeah, close. Roughly. Yeah, within a se- second. Yeah, he's within yeah. a sec. He's within a second, and it's uh, which, which corner is it? The third corner. Is third, it? yeah. It's coming into the third. Three corner. into four, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Vettel makes a mistake. You know, as, as we've seen him do. Quite a lot, really. <laughs> that, yeah. That, that's true. But he seems to do it when he cracks. When, cracks. when the pressure's on, yeah, it's happened yeah. A f- quite a few times now. Vettel makes a mistake, cracking on, cracking under the pressure. Obviously, it's, you know, we, we can't imagine what it's like in this cockpit. Anyway, he true. goes, he he locks up, he loses the back, he, lo- he lost the back end, didn't he? You see, he he, he comes to the yeah. corner, back end steps out of him. So he corrects that by going on onto and over the grass. Yeah. Um, obviously, on the grass. No grip, so he's he's fighting to retain control of the yeah. car. He comes back onto the circuit, and it's clear you can see it from the onboard. Vettel 
turns the steering wheel to the right. You, you, that 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 that's clear. Yeah. To, that's clear to see. Yeah. Um, but he's doing that in response to oversteer to correct the car to keep it, you know, keep, keep it in balance as he as he returns yes. returns the circuit. Hamilton, meanwhile, you no, know, he's but he, he's seen he's seen that Vettel's gone off, so he's thinking, yeah, oh wow, this chance. is my this is my chance. This is a bit like Damon Hill. Um, like, yeah, uh, Damon nine, Hill, no, no, nine four, he's seen Schumacher. Well, he hadn't actually seen Schumacher who goes goes off, but he's Schumacher slow is my chance yeah. to overtake. Unlike unlike Hill and uh, Schumacher in '94, they didn't hit each other. Um, but but from the but, outside, but it could have. Yeah, it looks like that Vettel's gone off. He's saying, "Oh oh no, I've, I've messed up." And it, it does look like he squeezes Hamilton to to keep him back. And, and I think any one of us, prob- you know, in that situation, probably would have done the same. I mean, you, you're fighting for the lead of the Grand Prix, with and. You, you know you, you're gonna try your best to keep the guy behind you whether you've gone off the off the track or not yeah um see so, i don't know if he had that much control that no he no, could exactly. position it right i think i think in some ways he did well not to hit the wall on the other side oh, he managed absolutely. to he didn't put his foot down too too soon he yeah like i mean um it was a great bit of car control yeah, so I think he did what he could just to not spin or hit yeah. hit hit the walls to hit Ham- Hamilton to yeah yeah I think he managed to avoid a crash in a lot of ways. So I think I think Hamilton was maybe surprised at, at, at Vettel's um, movement back onto the track. That's why he came on the yeah. radio. He came on the radio. What was, it, what was his words? I think what said he said something about dangerous. As was, dan- dan- that was dangerous. dangerous. Yeah, coming back so, on the track because. He sees the gap and he's like, right, yeah, he chance. The, and then yeah. the gap very quickly is closed. <laughs> yeah, is that, yeah As he exactly. goes to, yeah. And he's, think, he's thinking, oh, damn, then that could be my one chance to to win the race. Yeah. And he's lost it. So even though it may not be um, aware, actively aware of it, he's saying to the stewards, you know, oh, that's, yeah, that's like, not that wasn't safe. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the race continues. They they they, they, they continue, and then they say, "Oh, we're going to look into it," and then they uh, give Vettel a five second penalty for what? What was it for? It was for returning to the track in an unsafe manner. Yeah, that was the penalty. Yeah. So the debate really is: was it unsafe? What make what made it unsafe? Um. <clears throat> I guess the fact that Hamilton had to slam on the brakes yes. to avoid hitting him or the wall. Yeah. Um, but the ha- fact that Vettel didn't really have control of the car as he basically kind of swerved back in front of another car. Mm. Um, yeah. I guess that's what, yeah, that's what makes it un- un- unsafe. Un- that's what makes it unsafe. So, so, um, Motorsport is unsafe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's so. So I'm going to say my bit. Yeah. Uh, it's a racing incident. It's yeah. what it, it's what it's all about. You know, you you say you say unsafe. Yeah, you, you say it's an un, unsafe attempt. To the thing, if it's unsafe, don't don't race. <laughs> I think we. we I've made my, yeah. my. I think I've made my my thoughts on safety. Uh, in, in in Formula One, yeah, in clear the past, in the past. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I, you know, I obviously you don't want to see drivers getting hurt or anything, anything like that. But they, they sign up; it's a risk every time they get in the car. No one's asking them to take that risk; they're, they're taking the risk themselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah. The the thing that came up a lot was what else could he have done? Like where else could he go? He literally went across the grass there's no option Why could he for go? him but to come back on the track he can't yeah he can't slow the car down before yeah. he you know it's <laughs> impossible and that, that was Vettel, um, Vettel's argument was well that's the first thing he said to Hamilton yeah was, where well, else could I go where, where could, could what I could I have done what where could I have, could I have gone <sighs> yeah which I I get I completely yeah. get um so having had a day to think about this I hmm. I was thinking about this so and and my my conclusion is that the law is dodgy. Okay. So so what I'm think so so take out the fact 
that v Vettel had nowhere else to go, like kind of take out the unfair, like oh it's not fair, like he d didn't do much wrong, blah blah blah, like take take out that that side of it that he had no choice, he, he didn't have a choice, he had nowhere else to go. Yeah. Take that side. Was it unsafe? And the answer to that is yes. Hmm. Right? So yeah. going yeah. by the laws, they were right to give the penalty. Because whether or not he had a choice or he had space or what not, he was it wasn't safe in the way he came back on the track. Yeah. He could have caused a crash, he could have hurt another driver, blah blah blah. Yeah. So in that sense I think the rule it you all almost need to have someone who takes the rule but kinda goes, Okay, look at the different things. So the speed he was going, like the the space he had um, the the kind of the choice he had, like if he, like, could he have kept left, and would that have been more safe or less safe? Hmm. You kind hmm. of got to take it each corner on its own. Like I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Like on, on its own merits, you can't judge it all the same by one yeah. rule. Like it, it it can't be judged yeah. like like that because <clears throat> said there was nothing else he could have done. Yeah. But going by the rules, it wasn't safe, and therefore he should have had a penalty. And here's the conflicting argument: by the letter of the law, as you, you've you've just pointed out, the stewards had no option but to, to yeah. award the penalty because that's that's what's written in the rule book, and you know uh, the rules are there for a reason. Get that? But is so? Are we saying that the fundamental problem is the rules? About, engage about engagements rule. needs yeah. to be relaxed. Yeah, they need to have someone to in interpret them for each particular crash or close crash or uh, yeah. whatever goes on. Whatever the unsafe part is, yeah, you need to look at the whole picture. And here's the, here's the trouble though in, in, in Formula One. Um, I use I use the example of VAR in, in football. Um, in football, you have the video assistant referee. Yeah. They stop the game. You know they could they yeah. could they could spend five minutes thinking about it. Formula yeah. One, five minutes is a lifetime. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, and, and it did, and I thought it took at a lot of time. It, yeah. it took them so long to decide, and perhaps perhaps that's why they they were kind of going. It's not a penalty, but going by this law, yeah. we have to give a penalty. Like we can't defend ourselves. If then they say, "Why didn't you?" We, we can't say, "Well, we just didn't feel like it was the right thing to do." The laws, the law, like rules, yeah, are yeah, rules. Yeah. You can't you can't adapt them when you feel like. So yeah. perhaps that's yeah. why it took them so long because they were thinking, like, really, like this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of fans. Who are going to be um, uh, annoyed I'm, I'm by upset. this? Yeah. It's going to be a massive like outcry, <laughs> but we've got to do it because it's the law. Like, yeah, I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps that's why it took took them took mm -hmm. them so long. Well, at, at the end of the day, the decision was made to award better a five second time pen, time penalty. Um, yeah. So, it, on in the history books, will forever show that Lewis Hamilton won. The Canadian Grand Prix of nineteen yeah. two thousand nineteen. <laughs> I said I got I got Canada right, but then I got the wrong year. <laughs> um, but spiritually, Vettel won the race in the same way as uh, uh, Hamilton won the Belgian Grand Prix in two thousand and eight. Um, yeah. So so. Can and can I just say one thing as oh, well? Like yes, like no. whether or not. Whether or not the driver meant to do it shouldn't affect things, if that makes sense. So, yeah, like yeah. Vettel didn't mean to cut him off, say, but that, or or he didn't, right. he didn't have a choice but to come back on. He didn't mean for it to not be safe. Blah blah blah. That they shouldn't. That shouldn't come into play. Be a, a point. 
yeah, yeah it shouldn't yeah. come into play. I, I think it's like it's like I kind of I was thinking about it today, like think back to Spa last year when Hulkenberg, um the very start he locked up his brakes and he ploughed planned to the car in front that hit Leclerc and they had that big crash and stuff. Like yeah. Hulkenberg he doesn't mean to lock up, he doesn't mean to make that that mistake. But he's done that and sort 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 of the same as Seb, like he doesn't mean to lose the, the rear end, but he he does. And then the next thing, he's a passenger for the next part. Sort of the same as Hulk as well, where he had no choice he was gonna hit the back of the car in front. You know, it was Yeah. And so obviously he didn't mean to to cause that crash, but he has. So he gets a penalty. So it's like Seb doesn't mean to like swerve and to come on the track and cut off dri- dri- driver. He didn't have a choice. Like he couldn't, you know, there's a wall to his his left, and then you know the grass is not much grip. So he's basically got no choice but to keep going through. But that is the case, and that's where the penalty happened. Yeah. No, I hear you saying it's good. No, it's good. Um, so, so yeah, uh, Ferrari have made the intention clear they're going to appeal the, um, yeah. the decision. Uh, it's, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, yeah. So how does it happen? Like, it, what? It, well, there's nothing they can do. Uh, it ha- the penalty was applied during the race and yeah. that's where it ends. That, 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 that's, that's the rule of law. And obviously the FAA aren't going to rene- I'm going to look into it, renegade on it because then it will look even worse than it already does because then they'll they yeah. admit they're in the wrong in the first place. So it'll just be even more bizarre, uh, and they they can't do that because it will be su- it will set such a dangerous precedent as well. So it means that if you get yeah. a, a five second penalty in uh, or whatever penalty in a race, you can then yeah, appeal, you can appeal it, after it later the race. on. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, you know. Yeah, um, and I think. Like again, I think the law is wrong, or the rule is wrong. But I think they the, they were right to give a penalty based on the rule. If that makes sense. Yeah. No. Is it, yeah. Totally right. The, the, yeah. But by the, so I don't think so they're going to they go back on it. They need. They need to. It's it's about um, over regulation, isn't it? About you, you 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 can't really like you said before. Every corner, every, every lap, every race, every corner is different, and you can't create. Yeah. A set of rules or frameworks that will govern yeah. how a driver will take that corner in every given situation. It's it's, exactly. an, it's an impossible task, and yeah. it, it's it. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, on yesterday's yesterday's race, the losers was loser was for the FA and Formula One because they shot themselves in the foot with um, with, with what happened. Uh, uh, I mean, it's it's a weird one because the rule. Before this race, you would say that rule of if you return to the track in an unsafe way, you kind of go, well, yeah, that's obviously that should be a rule because if somebody goes off and then they just pull out in front of a car going 150 and they're going like 10 or whatever, like yeah. you, you kind of would you would say that rule is correct, but I guess the difference is that there needs to be. A tiny bit of common sense, yeah, there yeah as well. Agreed. That common sense. They can just, yeah, that it, that they can apply it. It's not set in stone. They just apply that rule to whatever they're having a look at. So I, I think the key aspect here, though, as well, is that Sebastian checked his mirrors. You know, it's a bit. Remember, what remember, as as he came back on? He was checking his. He did. He definitely checked his mirror to see where Hamilton yeah. was. Uh, think, yeah. think back to when you know Ricardo in Baku, he reversed out without checking his mirrors and crashed into the back of a. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Of, of uh, Thingbot, uh, wasn't it? Kivat, yeah. Kivat. Um, yeah. So, he got a penalty for that, didn't he? I uh, think. Probably, yeah. Probably, it's, it's got some points. It's basic on his license. Yeah, it's basic drive, basic driving. You know, you're che- checking mirrors. Um, so you, you know, you say unsafe. You check. What, what more could he have done than, than check these mirrors, get the car back on the track safely, and and the, and and both of them continued. Yes, Hamilton had to apply his brakes, but he's spatially aware enough to do that, you know. Yeah. Um, because Hamilton's a smart guy. Uh, yeah. 
but there, but there we are. Um, so I like, I like, I like to draw. I like, I like to draw this to 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 a conclusion. Um, so what what was your take on Vettel's actions after the race had finished? <laughs> um, I thought um, fair play to him. Um, yeah, I thought yeah, nice one. Like because I can see why he was so down. Like. I keep I I've read a few times that he had a massive sulk, but I don't know if it was sulking mm. really. I think he was just he was just so Frust- peed off, so frustrated. Yeah, and I think if I was in that kind of like if I was him, I I I would have been like, this is just wrong. Why should I mm. now go and follow the rules that they set? You know, when I don't want to, I just want to go and punch a wall or something yeah, yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. want to be seen I just want to go away and calm down and then we'll think about things and they're like no you've got to come and chat to, to us you've got to do all the press talk, stuff talk to Martin Brundle um, yeah so I can kind of see why he basically stormed off at, when he came in um, when he switched the place signs that was brilliant um, yeah when yeah the whole f- like yeah I I I'm not a massive fan of his, but I did think like, like yeah. he's got a point here. Like okay. I think fair okay. play, fair fair play to the guy. Now see, I, I, it's funny you, you said because I kind of think the opposite. When I when, okay. I when I saw his reaction, I, I was thinking I was the same as you. That what you just said. That I was thinking, yeah, I I'd be throwing my toys at the pram as well. That's that's an injustice. Yeah, uh, an injustice done. But then today. Like you said, I was thinking about it, and, and I was thinking, "Oh, hang on, you know, this guy is meant to be a professional sportsman. It may have been even more um, powerful if he had just sucked it up a little bit." Because um, yeah. the way he went, the way he stormed off, the way it it did look like you know the analogy of a kid, a kid throwing his toys out the pram at that, and and, yeah. and Sebastian's got a bit of a reputation for that uh, for some of the other other stuff he's done in the past. Um, so obviously he's still got he's still that hot head in it, but at the same time, yeah, it shows his passion. It shows his passion about the sport. Shows his passion. But if he had just yeah. been a little bit more decorum in following the sports rules and regulations, a little bit, you know, following the procedure a bit more, maybe I would have had even more respect for him having to go through all that and just fighting through it. If you don't, if you yeah, know I, mean. I can uh, Yeah, I I do understand, but I think. Sometimes. When you just come out yeah. like it's like we so we've had a bit of time to think about it and go well maybe oh, that was a bit much yeah but when you're jumping right from a car straight in into the world you don't going, have a also Seb what do you think about that like you're robbed blah, blah, and the crowd yeah. are like cheering and yeah. booing and yeah it's just like the adrenaline's flowing the emotions yeah like yeah I I don't blame him the last but, thing you have at that moment is a level head and. Yeah, yeah, totally and, understand that. And I, I, and I can imagine Hamilton doing the same thing. Like I can't imagine mad, mad, imagine him keeping his mouth shut and just doing that sort of thing. I think he would like maybe not in the same way, mm. but he he doesn't lose well. Like oh, we know this. Oh so yeah, yeah. He's I think he would have had a big is. sulk as well and kind of accused it not being fair. Like. I think most of them would have, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. All of them, they're all win- they're meant to be winners, aren't they? They all, they all want yeah. to win. And definitely uh, the wrong result happened. Uh, and that, that's yeah. good. But I, I would, just just to finish there, um, massive respect though for Seb. For, I, for, for a while, I didn't think he was going to do the podium. I thought he was just going to yeah. leave, I mean, leave the track, just, just go. Like um, it might have, because I kind of was, I kind of thought like if he doesn't do like, would that be the first time that there's only been two drivers on a podium? I, I don't was, know if I've ever seen <laughs> that before. You know, I was racking my brain about that. I was, I was trying to think back, but um, feels like there must have been one. Well, so yeah, I kind of thought that if he didn't do that, it would make more of a statement. It, It'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, and I. I and I know it's just a race win, but he hasn't won in so long, and the team <laughs> hasn't yeah. won. It was such a mass. It could have been a turning point. It was a massive thing, just just for the team as like just it's 
nice to win, you know. Yeah. It's sort of... And it was taken away not, in the fashion. It's just... Yeah. Like, you've really worked hard. You've earned it. You've come from... You know, you haven't... Well, they could have won Bahrain. Well, they should have won it. But it's not like they've really been that close and... To then have a win, yeah, like, like <laughs> it must hurt. It must really, really hurt. It's the closest you can get to winning a race without actually winning it, I think. Yeah, because he crossed the way. line, crossed the line first. Yeah. Minus and it was seconds. weird when they crossed as well, because you, you're used, used to them being like hand up and yeah, stuff, even. or like two hands, and they both crossed the line and they both just <laughs> did a little wave or whatnot. Yeah. Or did Seb do like the thing? Like no, I don't think he did. I think he how... wagged. I think he wagged his fing- finger, kind of to be like, no, 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 this is wrong. Yeah, kind something like some, I think as opposed to that. like winning. Um, but yeah, it was one of those weird ones where they it's... no, no one was really that pleased to be on the podium. <laughs> like no, they all looked like oh dear, this was except except the yeah, uh, Mercedes. Isn't right. Except the Mercedes representative, that, that yeah, girl, she she looked quite happy to be. <laughs> yeah, she was pleased. <laughs> she was, she was having a great time. Um, so so there we are. Were there any other noticeable moments that you want to comment on? Oh, um, I I just want to quickly touch on Lance Stroll actually. Yeah, I was just, I was about to say that. <laughs> Which is I, I don't I don't believe I'm going to say this, but he did well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He um. He yeah, great... he did a really good stint on the hard yeah. tyres at the start. He made the right. He made his race consistent. Yeah, he had a really good well, move he... on. Who was it? Who was that move he made? Uh, I think it was si- Sites, wasn't it? Signs into the final corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he uh, finished up yeah, in did, ninth, did ninth well. place. Um, so yeah, well, well done. <laughs> yeah, yeah well done, Stroll. Bl- blimey! I mean, it's about <laughs> time he. It's about time he started and, getting some points for the team. Yeah. And if he, you know, he hasn't do done all, all that well so far. And and, so. and of all the places to do it, let's do it at your home Grand Prix anyway. Yeah, his home race seems to be like, obviously he got his first points there two years ago. Yeah, he did, yeah. And that kind of, and then the next race was when he was third in Baku. So perhaps, you know, perhaps this could be another <laughs> little boost for the next race in France. I don't a, know. Little, a little turning point. France is next. Yeah, so so the next um, next Grand Prix. Not sure I like it. France. Are you going to be there? No. Are you going to be there? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Well, I'm going to watch no. it. Well, in that case, I'm, I'm not sure I like the track. I don't. What's what's your view on it? Um, I think I need to see another race. To be honest. Yeah, it it's basically race. like a big go kart track. It's just flat, isn't it? With it's, lines on the. Yeah. It's just a big tar- tarmac bit. <laughs> With some lines, <laughs> pretty much, and there's a race track. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure I like it, but there you go. There we are. So the next race is in two weeks' time because it's Le Mans next week. Yeah, and I'm I'm very much looking forward to it. a 24 hour binge. Oh, uh, you're going to be watching that, yeah? Oh, well, I'm going to try. <laughs> yeah, you probably won't watch the entire thing, but that that that'll be yeah. pretty that'll be pretty difficult. <laughs> so, um, yeah. thank you for listening. Do you agree with what we've said or disagree? You know, if you if you like, you can comment below. Any any yeah. good ones, we'll pick out for the next for the next show. But uh, yeah. in the meantime, we hope you've enjoyed, and uh, we'll be back uh, pretty soon. <laughs>